It was targeted for publishing satirical cartoons of Prophet Muhammad. The killing spree at Charlie Hebdo on 7th of January 2015 shocked the world, prompting world leaders and millions of French people to march through the streets of Paris a few days later in solidarity under the banner Je suis Charlie. The spirit of Charlie Hebdo, I think, is still there. But it is now going to evolve into a mobilization for secularism, a mobilization for freedom of expression and the right to blaspheme. In my opinion, this is how it will take shape in the years to come. But five years after the massacre, press cartoons are still a threat in genre. Charlie Hebdo has published a defiant issue for the attack's anniversary, denouncing what it says is a new kind of politically correct censorship by people hiding behind their keyboard and smartphone. The very notion of blasphemy has sadly gone beyond simple caricatures. Today many things are felt as blasphemy or aggression. There are new censors being put in place, new prohibitions. Charlie Hebdo's cartoonists are still determined to push boundaries, despite the death threats they continue to receive. A Reporters Without Borders argues freedom of expression has actually gone backwards. The NGO is calling for more protection for journalists against religious intolerance, as well as blasphemy to be depenalized in the 69 countries in the world where it's still punishable.